what's up YouTube uh, 10 CFX here again I just wanted to bring you guys um, a video kind of help you along a little bit uh, if you're newer to the game uh, even if you're not new to the game maybe some of these things that you can take away for yourself um, right now I've got about 1200 hours in the game but just with this amount of play time right now uh, this is kind of the information that I'm going to be giving you guys just in my experience um, first I want to start off with um, with guns okay so whenever you first start out in the wipe you're like level you know 1 to 10 and you're looking at trying to get uh, a good kit or a, just a good weapon in general to use um, to help you along your way up till you can get like flea market and then you start unlocking you know level two with your traders uh, i feel like this is the part in the game where it's more most stressful the hardest part of of the wipe is just getting started starting that snowball up and uh, getting along so i'm gonna f show you guys a few few weapons that are gonna help you along early wipe and they are amazing uh, with good ammo, and we'll get into that here in a second. Uh, the first one is the OP SKS. Very good weapon. Um, right here. Um, <clears throat> and all again, this is all level 1 trader stuff. The only thing that, you know, you could add is the hexagon. The sound suppressor if you want to go suppressed, but that's only if you find it in raid. Um, it's quite a bit inexpensive silencer as you can see and you can't even get it until you're level three with gear so if you find that in raid cool you guys want to go silenced uh go for it but uh right now this is what we're gonna have so we got a 20 round mag this is very important the internal mag uh, i believe can only hold six um which no it's actually 10 um but the thing about the internal mag is that you cannot remove it right you just gotta you gotta feed it, essentially, uh, one round at a time. Whereas with this, it's got 20 rounds and it's already loaded, good to go. All you gotta do is have another mag in your in your uh, attack rig. So we've got the uh, dovetail mount, so that way we can have the reflex sight, which this is personal preference. There's a lot of pretty good sights out here, like this one, is not too bad if you want to go really long range most of the time early wipe though uh you're gonna be fighting kind of up close this is my next go-to right here this is a really really good site okp7 reflex uh it's pretty good and you could also go just iron sights with this if you'd like um but this is a really good go-to right here so the ammo that you kind of want to go and use with this is fmj to start off and mind you you can only have 400 round purchased within a cycle the top here uh so he's got about two hours left on his timer um and then it'll uh reset if if you if you're starting to like this gun and this setup and it's really working for you just just continue buying ammo uh that's kind of something that you gotta have to do you know throughout the wipe anyways any of the good ammos that you want to keep and and use you know uh kind of have to go for it the other thing to note is that if you are a bear uh, you should start out with some PS ammo um, which is right here and if you have that use this instead this is very good um, I'll leave the ballistics for you um, for this one versus the FMJ honestly you can't really go wrong with either one um, FMJ has a little bit more accuracy, a little less recoil, but this one has some more armor pin than the FMJ rounds. Regardless, if you don't have PS rounds, uh, then go with this FMJ if you're trying to trying to go for level one type stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the OPSKS right here, edit preset, and then we're gonna open up our budget preset, which is right here. Okay. So this is about what it's going to be um, with those parts. You got your dovetail mount and you got your Cobra. It's going to be around about 16K. This is a really good budget weapon and it's already shooting really good ammo. 
Next one that I want to show you is the AKS 74U. Uh, and now we have a few of these. Um, I'm going to show you this one. Okay. So there's a couple different builds that you can do with this. This is one. Uh, this is a really common starter weapon, a uh, level one trader weapon. That's really, really good. Um, so first off, we got the Goliath, uh, which you can kind of trade off with a B11 handguard if they are not sold out. Uh, sometimes this this handguard is sold out pretty commonly. Um, we got the RK6, which again, you can buy that from this gear. We've got just the, the normal flashlight, which again, I'm going to cover that in another video, another beginner's guide, but flashlights are extremely important in this game. If you don't have a flashlight and you're going against a flashlight, you're most likely going to lose the engagement. Um, it's just OP. Uh, we just got this, the normal 30 round mags. You don't need anything more than that. Um, and then again, we've got the reflex sight. The one thing that you need to get is this legal Arsenal Pilgrim rail dust cover. The sight that you could go with here, um, I choose the reflex sight again, the Cobra. Cobra's just really good early wipe. You can't really go wrong with it. But uh, you guys have a few options that you can go with here. You can then you can, you know, still go with the OKP7 reflex sight, which is really good still. So the Mars is pretty good too. This one, if you're wanting just a red dot, this is a pretty good one. Uh, but if not, just go with uh, the original one, the, the Cobra. Cobra's really good. It's got a really nice uh, field of view for whenever you're looking down the site. Um, you know, and it's not, it's not really cluttering up your, your screen and you can also buy them from different traders too. So like the AKS 74U, you can buy it from mechanic for 25 K. You also can buy them from Prapper. So if you're trying to get some money spent with the trader, um, you can get them from either. If you need the extra money spent, uh, with Prapper as well, you can buy it from him. The other thing here is this barter. Or if you're just wanting to get a suppressed AKS, this is a good option too. And then you, there's a few differences between the AKS 74U uh, and then this 74UB. I think the dust cover is a little different. So 24K off the top. Um, we'll go ahead and buy one of those because um, just to show you, we're going to go going to edit the preset and by the way um make sure you guys get your workbench uh, and your hideout as fast as you can because this is really helpful right here so we're going to go again with the pilgrim uh we're going to go either with the b11 handguard and i'll show you guys what it kind of looks like if you if you did that so you do that uh the 25 green and then this uh the flashlight um, the next thing is the scope. Uh, so you, again, you go with that. Um, you could go with the Mars. You could go with this uh, Cobra. Doesn't really matter. Uh, it's kind of personal preference. Then, um, so this is this, which will run you um, about an extra 13K uh, with those parts. Now, if you go with the Goliath, uh, you have let's see RK6. We're gonna put the ring, and then we're gonna put the flashlight, and then now we're good. We're gonna assemble that by parts, so 17k. So not too big of a difference. It's just really if this handguard is out of stock, and vice versa, if the other one's out of stock, just buy this one. Uh, and you're good to go. There's really not too big of a difference when it comes down to uh, ergonomics or vertical recoil or horizontal recoil. It's going to be pretty much the same. So hopefully you guys enjoy these two builds. Um, kind of ammo that you guys want to be using. When it comes down to that is PS. If you have it, um, I know you can only get that at level three, but if you're a bear and you start out um, you should start out with some PS. Um, highly recommend that you guys use that. It's very good. If you can't, um, get PRS. PRS isn't too bad, 
but it definitely doesn't do the same as uh, PS. So if you don't have PS, use PRS. You can also use PP rounds. PP rounds is very good, but they, as you can see, they're pretty expensive. So um, PRS, US you could also do, um, right now it's currently out of stock. This is also a, a really good alternative. And it's mainly because the re recoil reduction and the durability burn is a lot less on your weapon. So uh, US PRS, you can't go wrong with. Um, use PRS if you can't buy US and use PS if you have it and if you find it in raid. Next thing we're gonna go on to is our um, armor and kind of the kits that you guys are gonna wanna rock. So when it comes down to armor, uh, you know, your earpiece, headwear, your tack rig, all that stuff, okay? Again, this is in the mindset of very early wipe. You know, you're like level one to 15 before flea market, okay? These are gonna be kind of, you know, a go-to for kind of what you want to do. So earpiece, um, so skier, level one. Um, I highly recommend this uh, M32 headset, just uh, it, my personal preference. I, I think it, I, me personally, it just sounds better uh, for me. Uh, and that's another thing about these headsets is that it's really, it's really just personal preference. I'm gonna show you guys kind of the options that you have. So skier, He's got the M32s, it's at 28K. Um, you've got Ragman, uh, which he's gonna offer you guys the barter for the G uh, uh, GSSH um, for some toilet paper. So if you have three toilet papers, you can go ahead and exchange that. The other thing that you have is the Comtech 2s, which this is also a really good alternative, um, 42K. Uh, you can only get eight uh, as a max right now. So um, there's that. They also have the barter uh, with Ragman, uh, two matches. The next one, and this is a lot of people's go-to right here, is the Swordens. Um, the Swordens have kind of a little deeper sound to it. So if you want that, that with a little bit more bass type, um, go with these. The Swordens are pretty good. Um, so yeah. That's, that's kind of what you want to rock with when it comes down to your earpiece. Okay, headwear. Headwear, you really just want to go with this green olive drab helmet, the SSH 68 steel helmet. It's pretty good. I mean, will it save your life? Maybe. It's level three. So if somebody does shoot you right here and they don't have very good ammo, it's going to ricochet off. Um, it covers your ears, covers your nape, and it covers the top of your head. So it's good for what it is, but um, helmets in this game are kind of iffy, uh, me personally. Uh, sometimes I'll just wear a baseball cap, honestly. But um, if you're looking to get a helmet, I would recommend this. The next option that you kind of have is the LSHZ lightweight helmet. Um, does not cover your ears, just covers the top and the nape. So if you're wanting to look cool, <laughs> look a little better, you know, go with this. But if you want a little bit more coverage, go with that. So next we're going to talk about our body armor. Okay. <clears throat> body armor is, can be important in this game right now. I'm not too sure. Uh, haven't played too much into the swipe to really get get the the purpose of it i i feel like right now people that don't go in with armor they seem to just tank a lot of am uh ammo for whatever reason i don't know haven't really tested that uh there's a really good video i'm gonna link um when it, it kind of covers the armor in this game uh with the new patch and then just the basic understanding of the changes this one right here should be your go-to I wouldn't really go with this this body armor right here. Um, it's kind of similar to the Paca, but I, if you kind of wanted to be um, Flora instead of black or dark, uh, they go with this. But you know, I don't recommend it. 
um, when it comes down to armor. This is a very, very good um, armor selection, early, early wipe. This one as well, if you can find propane, this is a very good armor set. This one covers a lot of areas on your body. And then also um, your front plate is level three. You can also add a plate so that it also covers your back plate and you can add another level three, level four plate um, into there. So very good go-tos right there. So the next thing is face coverings. Don't, they don't really matter too much. There are some, some points uh, in time where your face uh, would glow and I'm talking about previous wipes I don't know if that's still a case or not I haven't really found that um, comment down in the section below uh, if you guys have noticed that for yourself uh, me personally I haven't so I don't really I don't really use face covers very much but if I since I got level 2 I just use um, the balaclava um, it's pretty good. I like it. It covers my whole face, but that's for level two. That's not for level one. Eyewear. Uh, don't really worry about eyewear. Very early wipe. Again, you're not gonna you're not gonna find um, good ones. You have these tactical glasses and this the Dunduck sport glasses. Um, you you know these do make a little bit of a difference has 10% uh, protection against flash bangs, which can be beneficial, but for the most part, you don't necessarily need to waste your money into this. These are 15%, so if you want a little bit extra, you can pay a little bit extra. Now, tactical rigs, okay? Tactical rigs. If you find these tactical rigs out in the world or you pick it up, these are amazing. I love these. And we call them diaper rigs. Uh, and it mainly is because it looks like a diaper, like a big diaper. Um, it's got level four chest groin. And then on your back, it's got uh, level two for your back and your groin. Um, and it just covers a little bit more. It's categorized as an armored rig. So you don't necessarily need to have body armor with this. Your tactical rig is your body armor. So good choice here um i do this whenever i'm going to woods and i'm not rocking a weapon where i need tons of magazines so that's uh that's a good choice for you if you if you are looking for um a good armored rig at the very beginning the other one is um from the trader um level one this is a pretty good rig. Um, most of the time I'll go for this. Uh, so double slots here and then you've got the single slots. This can be good, uh, especially early wipe. You've got two magazines here for you to reload and I'm talking more so the, like the AK. Um, and then you've got uh, some slots that you can put some meds, put ammo, you could put a grenade. Um, the next one is if you're trying to do like Mosin quests, I highly recommend the bank robber, um, mainly because when you're going for like really, really budget kits, you don't necessarily need a lot of storage, uh, especially since it's uh, single fed in the Mosin. So you don't need to have magazines. You just need to have ammunition either in your pockets or in the tactical rig. So that way you can grab it and then uh, feed it into your weapon. Um, these other ones, uh, I mean, really wouldn't recommend. Um, this one's not too bad. Now backpacks, realistically, you should start out with some uh, day packs. You should start off with uh, mechanism if you have EOD uh, and vice versa. Make sure you guys kind of, I typically use the mechanism as like a storage backpack at the beginning and then also a pilgrim because it stores more than it kind of holds so um you'll notice that too with some of these rigs is that they'll do that so um but anyways if you're looking to just kind of buy backpacks um as a level one you don't have very many options like you did last 
uh, last wipe. So you have this um, tea bag, which it, everybody calls it a tea bag. Uh, this right here, the transformer bag, or you've got the tactical sling. Um, both of them have about the same size, I think. So six, um, and then nine actually. So definitely, I would go with the tea bag over this. Um, I would really only use this for um, a good example is the factory quest where you've got to go in and you have to fix the um, panels on the walls with the uh, toolkits, right? I would bring in like a tea bag just to do that. Um, so I really would never buy any of these bags for normal raid. What I would recommend for you to do is to just go into a scav raid and then bring out like a scav backpack. They're everywhere. You will find scav backpacks all over the place. Um, and also most of the time you'll spawn with a scav backpack or a backpack in general. So I would, to satisfy a backpack for the, for the kit. Just do a scav raid. You'll find it somewhere. Now we'll talk about the pouch here. <laughs> There's a certain combination that you guys want to kind of do here. So at the very beginning, now it does depend what kind of pouch that you have. So I have EOD, so I have a gamma. If you have an alpha, um, it's a little bit harder, right? So you'd only have these slots right here to be able to use. What I would recommend, always carry a surgery kit in your pouch, okay? This is very important. Another thing is your your meds. You want to have meds in, in your pouch as much as possible early wipes. So that way, you have meds at all times. It's more so going to save you time and money uh, because it's in your secure container, right? You're never going to lose that. So... CMS, 100%. The AFAC, um, you could put that in your pockets or your tactical rig if you have a pretty good amount of uh, meds, right? So um, at the very beginning, you're going to have a bunch of car kits, which are these right here. Um, these are pretty cheap. Uh, you can buy them from Therapist for 11K. Um, so that would be the go-to for like uh for fixing bleeds um like light bleeds um and very similar to the salewa but uh salewas have a lot more hp points to it and then also they can do heavy bleeds. um so the tourniquets uh make sure you have tourniquets on you to stop those heavy bleeds um you want uh, plenty of splints, so you'd want to have like two or three splints on you. Some pain kills. Uh, we're going to need probably two pain kills. And then a car kit. So I want to show you guys kind of what that looks like. Um, you could also go with some cheese, some AI2 um, kits. Um, if you only have the single slots. But uh, let's show you guys kind of what your kit should look like here. This is kind of what you want to run with, right? With the exception of this armor, this is just armor that I've had. This is, it's pretty good armor. If you find it, uh, I highly recommend that you guys use it. Car to fix um, light bleeds um, as well as heal up your um, individual sections of your body. And then splints to fix any broken limbs or any any broken arms. Um, S march to uh, fix any heavy bleeds that you may get. You also probably should have a couple more of these. You just put them in these single slots. Uh, Painkillers so that way, if you do get into a battle or whatnot, and you start to limp, you can use a pain kill and then. You guys basically ignore that pain and you can walk freely and you can also run um, AI 2 just in case you need a, a little bit more HP um, 
and you like run out of your car kit essentially um you've got a little bit uh more beds to heal up certain areas of your body um, and then down here in our container we're gonna have some sort of source of pain kills or an extra pain kill right now i've got a golden star golden stars are really good you're really not gonna find these very often um this is something later on that you may find it's really good for um, metabolism uh, the hemostat uh, has just another heavy bleed um, not everybody will have this um, this is like uh, a little bit further along you'll start unlocking these uh, CMS you should have a CMS at the very beginning and if you don't uh, highly recommend you guys find one you guys need this so that way you can do surgery if your limbs start and you go black you can do surgery and then restore it and then use your car kit or your AI2 to get them back up to full health. Um, if you have a key tool or if you have something that can hold um, keys like a docs case eventually, your secured container as well. If you, st if you do have a gamma like myself, um, this section I use for ammunition. So um, like say if I'm rocking an AK right here, I would go and I would grab some AK magazines or not magazines, but ammo and I'd put it in my container. So that way meds and ammo I will always have. Doesn't matter if I lose my kit, I will still have some of those meds and I will have ammunition. With that, that kind of covers um, the information in this video. Hopefully it helps you guys out um, in any way possible. Again, this is just uh, in the mindset of very early wipe, like level 1 to 15. Again, you don't have the flea market. Uh, you don't have level 2 traders just yet. So this is to kind of get you started. So yeah, uh, hope you, hopefully you guys like the, like the video. If it helped you out, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if there's anything that I may have missed, uh, also make a comment down below. Uh, looking forward to your guys' feedback and uh, hopefully you guys have successful raids out here with this information. So I shall see you guys in a later video YouTube. Hopefully you guys have a good one and we'll talk to you later.